Size 10 and a half. It flexes. There's enough room in my foot. So the Karayuma team pulled up to Lot 11. It's basically my local big park. The park's like an hour away from me, but it still feels like it's my local. I get a chance to talk to Leandre, scapegoat, and I'm like, yo, I'm on the barracks board that you skated. I just thought it was sick how you skated that. And uh, I didn't say that for a flex or anything, but just to give a backstory, like, yo, I'm a content creator, trying to move out to LA. As I was leaving, I was just like, yo, I'm about to be out. And then he was like, yo, what size are you? And I was like, 10 and a half. And they had like two boxes left and he just happened to have my size. I ended up walking away with some Mike Vallele skate shoes. And I thought it was Valley. I thought it was Vallele. I just looked on YouTube. The way he says it is Vallele. Hello, my name is Mike Vallele. Vallele. I've been saying it wrong for like 15 years. <gasps> for starters, the box itself looks eco-friendly. So right when you open the box, you're greeted with this info card. It's just a layout diagram of the shoe. This rubber overlay was actually inspired by the basketball shoes that Mike Vallele used to like skating in the 80s. Yeah, the closure is the lace-up. Just more of a casual shoe. Really nice, really grippy on the bottom. On the back side, I'm not gonna read all of it, but I'm just gonna read this little bit. This shoe is 100% vegan and introduces a new material to our sustainable design toolkit, vegan suede. All subtle nods to the basketball shoes Mike famously preferred to skate in the 80s. The Mike Vallele shoe is created with long wearing grip and all day comfort in mind. Good looking, crazy comfy, consciously made. It feels light. In the back they have this variation of their logo with the C. And I've never seen these before, ever. They got the logo on the wrapping paper too. Yo, branding. Zigzag pattern on the bottom, the logo and the logo spelled out. It also says Valet on the tongue. I gotta test these out before it starts raining. Size 10 and a half. Mike Valet. Well, for starters, it's already like really comfortable. There's enough room in my foot. Like I don't really need to like break them in so that you know I have enough room in my feet. The sizing definitely doesn't run small. I haven't even stepped on my skateboard yet and I already want to try out the Katiba Pros. I'm gonna test out an ollie before the rain starts over this fence. Yeah. Hey. Gucci suit, I'm feeling right, I know that the truth is hard to digest. Five or six bills in my mind. So we just got to the hotel. It's day two of me wearing the Karyumas. After that ollie, this is all that happened. Still looks good. Just a little bit of blemish right there. Little abrasions, but still looking good. They're still very, very comfortable. Darius is setting up a grip. That Rika Yushi. We're gonna go to Tampa Pro. Hopefully I get to skate these shoes in the park. Okay, so I'm back from skating USF and let's take a look at the shoes. Mind you, I've only done the ollie over that fence and then this hospital flip down that three flat bank. So it's looking good. You know, this uh, black line is starting to go away, but the stitching is holding up. You see that? And it was gripping the board pretty good after that fight. It's nice, but they're broken in, you know? Nothing's rigid about the shoe, right? It flexes either way. This is what you guys want to see, right? The shoe doesn't need to be broken in that quickly. I didn't even microwave it. 
you know, it's good. Lately I've been slipping away from you. Can you tell me, does it hurt today? Yeah, there's no way yeah, to burn. So I'm home now for the final review of the Mike Vallelis and uh, yeah, they skated pretty good. This is what it looks like right now. The next shoe that I would want to try is the Katiba Pros. I just really like how they finish off the toe cap. These toe caps, I'm not really, I see what they try to do. It'll preserve your shoe a lot longer, but like the toe caps like make or break for me. First of all, I look at the shoe, see if I like the logo. If I like the logo, I keep looking at the shoe. And then I look at the toe cap. If I don't like the toe cap, then I move on to the next shoe. It really is like that way for me. I did get a little bit of heel bruise skating that three flat bank at USF. I kept like shooting a couple bales. Maybe I landed weird, but if you take out the soles, it says, now you know that I'm made with plants. So it's made of plants, it kind of feels like foam. And then they got some cork right here. But I would like to see them strengthen their heel support in the next iteration of any kind of shoe that they make. So aside from that, you know, I can't really knock it too hard because I don't really send too much these days. I just like to skate like flat ground, ledges, and stuff like that. So it doesn't really bother me too much. I would skate these shoes again. Um, I definitely do want to skate the Katiba Pros though because I think that the way they finish the toe cap, those shoes are just more my style, more my speed and all that. But let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of these shoes. If you agree with me, if you disagree with me, hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed already and comment down below a shoe that you want me to skate test in the future. And I'll see you guys in the next one.